morning guys, how are you doing today? My name is Arthur, welcome to my channel and today we start our day at Kusharik, center of Kiev The goal of the day is to explore one of the oldest spots one of the oldest churches in Kiev and uh, the most famous basically religious site in Kiev uh, We have quite a road to go there so on the way we're gonna get some coffee obviously because we need that I need that Zara usually drinks tea I'm just trying to, you know, turn her to the dark side, as you can see. But it's not happening so far. Anyway, <laughs> I, I hope I'll do it, like, maybe in a few months. She will turn to the coffee maniac as I am. So, yeah, let's do that. Alright, so finally we could change our money. We were, like, struggling for two or three days. And since we live in Dubai, so we have deer humps with us. And it's uh, not that easy to do in Ukraine, apparently. I and mean, you can find euros, you can find dollars everywhere, but deer humps, not that much. So guys, if you need to change dirhams, just go to Hrishatik and there is lots of exchanges and for sure some of them they will do it for you. So if you're into smoking Kalyan, as you can see on the Hrishatik 21, there is a cool place called Vape House and we just got ourselves a new device. <laughs> So we're gonna get, have some weight competitions, you know, with the rings and stuff. And guess what? It started raining. What? At the moment, we have an unexpected stop. I mean, I'm excited because of the rain, obviously. As you can see, everybody's trying to escape and hide in the places. Good news is, got my coffee in charge, so let's enjoy that and hopefully the rain will pass soon. You know, it's like, I don't know why, but people in Ukraine are so polite and obviously it was sarcasm. My wife just asked like for the two tickets, let's say, to ride. <laughs> and guess what the lady said? Money first. Like, come on, say smile, say hi, say something. Come on, man. Of the metro station and also one of the features that you can see there is a big uh, monument over there it's like a cannon I don't know what exactly it is but I can read it or come closer but yeah so now we're on the way off to Kiev Pichirk Slavra and it's maybe like 20 minutes walk but I have a huge park next to it it's just so beautiful hopefully we're gonna get it on time and I'm gonna show you everything Approximately 15 minutes walk from the metro station Arsenalna, you're gonna reach the lava itself. Whew, it's a hot day today. I wish I would take Uber with AC, but I wanted to show you the deepest metro station in the world. See, guys, doing this for you, sweating for you. Now we made it to the territory of the lava, and the first thing we're gonna go to explore is gonna be the caves because they're closing soon, so we literally have like around 20 minutes to explore them. So we're rushing there, but it's not easy as there is. The territory itself is huge, so it takes you quite a time, you know, to get somewhere, and it's hot as well. All right, so as you can see, now we made it to the caves finally. Let's go see what's inside. We 
just came back from the caves it's beautiful but unfortunately you cannot make any video or photos there so that's why I just uh, put in you know squeezing at least a few seconds but I just don't want to disrespect it so yeah there is nothing from there but I can show you the surrounding area and it's very beautiful Also on the territory you can find some places to eat, like uh, the mines, the bacon bread. So there is a place you can actually get you a cup of coffee or tea and to eat something, in case you need any. Here, there's so long, it's like not labyrinth, but you're gonna walk a lot up and down, up and down. It's like you're on a quest of some adventure, you know. Also on your way to the caves, it's quite a basically <laughs> really like not a 90 degree, but you have to go down. And there's lots of stairs, and it's not the difficult part because after I have to go back up, and that's where is the struggle begins. Because when a day, day as hot as this one, <laughs> you're gonna sweat a lot, but it's good you're gonna burn calories, especially if you had a lunch or dinner. Ooh. See what I'm talking about? And also most of the roads here is like it's not your regular I don't know asphalt or something. It's just the bricks. Different bricks. And it makes for quite a, a rocky way, let's say. But it's interesting, you know, it's like I think they're trying to keep it traditional, like a part of history also. In the sense of Kiev you'll find lots of streets just like that. But especially if you go there in a car, woo, it's like you get in a massage straight away, you know what I'm talking about, like jumping on it. Right here under this chestnut trees as I told you the key has the symbol not the symbol but the chestnuts is like a makes for a nickname for a Kiev city of chestnuts so it's very beautiful and basically you need to 
spend, I don't know, minimum like one hour just to go around the area and if you want to explore the whole complex you might need like a few hours. Also you can get some excursions, obviously you can get it in English or any other language you need. And there's many tourists over here and there is lots of things to see. So this chestnut tree behind me is around 150 to 100 years old. Wow! And as you can see this thing behind me, uh, in Ukraine we call it pisanka. Basically it's for the Easter, like when you make uh, different ornaments on your eggs. So for this one uh, they used 16,000 pieces of mirror. And basically uh, there is the paper on the side that says it was a record for Ukraine. It's so beautiful. So we're saying goodbye to the Kyiv Pichas Clover and I would definitely definitely recommend to everyone who's visiting Kiev to come here. So now we're gonna go now we're gonna go to the park next exit. See you there. <coughs> and here we are. Love the thing teleportation. <laughs> right. So this is the monument to the genocide victims in Ukraine. It used to be a huge uh, genocide, we call it Holodomor and lots of people died unfortunately and that's the memorial and also as you can see next to the other monument there is a park of eternal glory it's really beautiful here, there's lots of benches you can see it So there you can see there is the eternal fire and the memorial for the fallen soldiers. So after the lava, after the park, we're going back to the deepest metro station in the world and coming back to the center of Kiev. and over here you can see like street artists basically they're drawing the paintings just right in front of you these are really cool techniques so let's have a look at it <laughs> 